Hey everybody, welcome back to another Ripping for Ripkins Mail Day episode. It's me, Corey, and today I've got some new stuff and some old stuff. First, I got a couple of these 2005 Donner's Classics that I, I'm missing some Ripkins out of that. I'm going to hopefully get a box one day, but I found these online for pretty cheap. So I figured I'd give them a shot. And then I've got... Uh, a bunch of cards I am missing out of the 1990 yearbook stickers. Uh, I have a bunch of Ripkins I'm missing out of that. So hoping to get those out of there. A two box of there. Got three pack, fat packs of the 2020. And of course, the 2019 gallery, which I will begin this, this with because there's probably less interest in this from the standpoint of you guys. So get these out here this of course is a blaster which contains the artist proof which I am currently working on we'll see if we can find anything pretty cool I'm gonna make it quick for you though and I'm gonna open up all of these at once because most of this is already done there's a few random cards here and there that I'll still need but Go ahead and open up a couple more and then we'll see what we've got out of here. Gonna get into that blister pack right there. Uh, it looks like what, 10 cards maybe. I'm hoping there's more, but really looking forward to seeing what's in that 2005 because I have not opened that yet. Let's just call that right there. Here we go. Nice Machado to start with. There is a, huh, an auto right there in the middle. Pablo Lopez. I did not have his auto yet, so that is a nice one. Definitely will add that into the autograph collection. There is the Cabrera Masterpiece, which I did not have yet either. The Conforto Apprentices, which I did have, or do have. We'll see what our Heritage card is. It's going to be in one of these two packs. And since I got an autograph, I should not get a numbered short print. So, let's see what, there's the Heritage card. Master and Apprentice is going to be the other one I get. And the Heritage is going to be Chris Bryant, who I have. So I was able to add a couple cards out of that and hopefully out of here as well. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I've got that one. Pedroia, Will Smith, I got him. BR, I got him, and I don't know that I've got the Vladdy, but there's four new cards for me to check out and add to the collection. I will put these off to the side, and we're going to get into these right here. This is the, let's see right there, 2005 Donner's Classic. You see he's got Cal on the front, it says five cards per pack. And there's the different uh, like VIP membership, significant signatures. That must be platinum numbered to one. These are all the parallels, autographs, memorabilia, different types of. I'm not that familiar with it, but I'm about to get familiar with it. But I wanted to try this out and see what was inside. See if I could find some of these missing Ripkins out of my collection. He's got quite a few cards in the 2005 Classic. So let's 
Get that pack out. All right, let's see what we can find. I'm gonna show you the odds out of here. Hmm. If you can pause that and see it, then you are better than I am because I cannot. So let's see what we've got inside. Keith Folk, Jason Bay, Casey Kochman, and we've got the Sean Green. Let's see what the Sean Green is. Number to 800. Sorry for that interruption. That was 600 out of 800. So I've been pretty lucky pulling Sean Green uh, numbered and relic card. That's pretty cool. And Dallas McPherson. So that was a nice one. It's a, I'm going to pull it back on the screen here in a second. Scott Rowland is on the back. There's a Vladdy Daddy on the front. Oh, I thought that white, it's a spacer between the outfields. So that's a nice card there. Bernie Williams, Hank Blaylock, Danny Graves. Oh, we got a filler. Everybody's favorite insert. And Scott Rowland. But, so no cows, but I did get a, what was what this card called? Team Colors insert. So definitely looks like a, a uh, set that I would enjoy, I would say, especially with these inserts. And Sean Green, I really like. So I'm hoping to talk John Jabs into doing a break on these as a turn back to clock Tuesday. I actually sent that in as one of my picks for sets to open is the Donner's Classic. So there's a nice one there. And now we're going to do our fat packs. Mm. And try to save the corners here. All right, let's see what we got out of the fat packs. Brad Hand, Rendon, nice Harper, oh, I went to Walmart and got these, by the way. Got the Matt Barnes gold. Number 60, I'll have to take a look and see if I have that one. There's a Reese Hoskins blue parallel. So that one is nice. You can tell the difference in the blue parallel. So don't have that one. There's a Schwarby 85 and a Schwarby turkey red. And the Cabrera, which is his base card. Let's just see if we got any rookies in here. Nothing too fantastic in that one. But we'll go ahead and rip into these other two and I haven't bought that many fat packs. So I wanted to try them, plus I had a coupon. And at this stage of the uh, pandemic, coupons come in very handy. We're coming up on our inserts. The Harper now. Another Hoskins. There's an Eloy Jimenez uh, 85 design, which I did not have yet. So that's a nice one. Bregman. Oh, sweet. Chris Bryant. 
one of my missing four turkey red cards. So that is nice. I have three more to go. There's the Jordan Alvarez. I put him over here. Kyle Lewis rookie. Or no Bubba Starling though. Usually you get Bubba Starling with him. But again, I'm not too familiar with the fat pack collation. But I try to mix it up, open up tins and hobbies and jumbos and blasters and especially these retail odds. I definitely want to get my retail inserts. All right, so this is the last pack of the 2020. Bo Bichette, so there's a second big rookie. And the Koa, these things are back and forth. Big time. Max Muncy, there's the Munoz rookie. I got the Atlanta Braves. Rainbow foil. I have to check and see if I had that one. Another Hoskins. There's a Lou Aparicio, which I did not have. Number nine. That's a good one. Judge and Puig. Turkey Red. Anthony Rizzo. Always check that that card right there to make sure I didn't. Get a advanced stats or something like that. Every time I get an advanced stats card, I pretty much find it off camera. But nothing there. I'll run through these. Make sure I didn't miss any there. And it doesn't look like I did. I didn't even pull out the Acuna. That's how far I've gone into this set here. And we're going to rip into these 1990 stickers now and see if we can track down these Ripken. So we are good to go on those. And I'm going to rip into one box. I actually could get two boxes for about the price of uh, one box. So if you like a comparison you can see the size difference in here but we're hoping to find a number of ripkin cards and that would be a tony gwynn looks like dale murphy joey bell and carney lansford and this is what the tricky part is, is the card is Jay Howe, but looks like on the uh, other side, like if you have like a, who's that, Gary Gaetti, Gagney or Gaetti, one of those two, and you got the Bo Jackson. So both of them get credit for that card. And then we've got the Wade Boggs, Will Clark foil card. So it's a pretty... Uh, nice little set. I have never opened these before, obviously, because I have none of the Ripkins. And I completely skipped over this when I was doing my 1990 collections. Steve Sachs and mm, I want to say, I don't know which one that is. Wallach, Reigns, and Henderson and Mickey Tettleton. 
looks like Spanky LaValier, Greg Swindell, and Robin Yount. So this is going to be interesting to find the different Ripkins out of this sticker set. But I am curious as to how many of those cards I can find. And the top card is getting a little bit of wax. You can see it in the picture there. There's a Rock Reigns and I don't know, Cal Elred? That's my guess, I don't know. There's a Sandberg. Craig, if you don't have it, let me know, bud. Brett Saberhagen. Daryl Strawberry. And Greg Olson. But I didn't show you the outside of the packs. 25 cents. Five sticker cards per pack. Superstar card on the back of each sticker. So the back is considered a superstar card. But these are well-kept boxes. <laughs> Got the Canseco. Another Rock Reigns. Howard Johnson. Looks like Von Hayes and Mark Davis. And the Harold Baines. Is this eye missing out of his jersey? With Joe Maygrain. But I do want to go show you this. There's a Rock Reigns. But you see the front of the card? This is Tim Raines. So these are two different Raines cards, even though they have the same number. They're different because they have different people on the front. I guess nowadays they would call those variations, but that's what I'm looking for with the Ripkins. And we'll put these superstar cards down. So that's why I got two boxes. It's going to take me a little bit of time with five cards per pack to track down these Ripken cards. And I figured it'd be just as easy to do it here. There's a Jeffries, Griffey Jr., and Nolan Ryan with Bo Jackson. That's got to be probably one of the more valuable cards you can pull out of this thing. That's a nice card. Jackson and there's a Pedro Guerrero, Julio Franco, looks like Pascal Perez possibly, and Pedro Guerrero is on the back. Superstar card. Definitely makes it a challenge not being able to tell some of these guys who they are. So Dwight Evans, I know that. With Lou Whitaker. And Sean Dunstan. Glenn Davis. Alan Trammell. And Joe Carter. I'm going to speed it up a little bit and try to find the Ripkins because that's what I am doing this for. And then maybe I can find some guys that are needed for other collections. Jerome Walton, Gaetti, Gooden, Scott, and Franco. And I'm going to check the front to see if there's any Ripkins. So a Yount and a Will Clark. Eric Davis, 
Lonnie Smith, another Will Clark, and Ruben Sierra, Randy Milligan, Jim Abbott, I'm not even sure who that is. I want to say maybe Jeff Ballard, but I honestly do not know. All right, Ozzy Smith, Sierra, Fisk, Hayes, and Nolan Ryan. And on the front of the Nolan Ryan, we've got Frank Viola and is that Buner? Possibly. And we got a Glavin on the front of Von Hayes. So there's a lot of different variations in these uh, cards. And then five cards per pack. It's, I don't know, two boxes is going to be enough to find them all. Franco, there's a McGuire. I'll have to ask Jay if he's got that with Pedro Guerrero on the front. He probably does, but I will still set it off to the side. So no Ripkins in that pack. Let's see. Henderson, Mitch Williams, Bobby Bowe, Tim Wallach, and Canseco. And another Nolan Ryan on the front with Henderson. Of course, those two are connected a lot throughout their career. I think uh, the same day Ricky broke the stolen base record, I think was the day Nolan Ryan threw his sixth or seventh no-hitter. He also struck Henderson out for his 5,000 strikeout. So there's a lot of connections there. Puckett. Sierra, Bobby Bow again, and Greg Swindell, Superstar. Let's see. Barry Larkin, Franco, Guerrero, Davis, Howard Johnson. Did miss, I did miss this on the last one. I was trying to figure out if I got it. Um, Kirby Puckett, Mark McGuire. That's the shiny card. So there's another one for you, uh, Jay, to let me know if you're missing any of these. I don't think I checked the front side of all these cards, but I did. All right. Come on, Ripken. You got a bunch of cards in here, buddy. You got to find one of them. Don Mattingly. Rick Russell with Nolan Ryan. And no Ripken again. Two McGuire's, no Ripkins. Randy Johnson. Oh, I saw the Orioles. Not going to happen. The Sandberg with the Robin Yount. There's a Ripkin. There's number one right there. So I got the Ripkin with, looks like Lee Smith. And take your pick. Phillies fans. So there's number one. And let's see how many of these variations I can pull out of here. Carter, Trammell, Davis, the Superstar Checklist, which is only for these cards here. 
number 10. Of course, you go down to number 10 right there is Sean Dunstan. Now we're going to check the fronts. No Ripkins on that one. So we're going to dig a little deeper in here. Let's go ahead and just open up about three of these at a time. Make this go a little quicker. I don't want you guys to be in here all day. And I really don't like going over 30 minutes anymore. All right, superstar cards. Fisk, Howell, Lansford, Gwynn, Bell, Langston, Davis, Howard Johnson, Yount, Maygrain, Mitchell, Finley, Langston, Ozzie Smith, and Wade Boggs. Now we're going to go to the front. There's a Wade Boggs on the front. And again, I'm just trying to find the Ripken cards. And nothing there. Let's rip three more and see what we get. I honestly have never seen these open. As I'm opening them, I realize that I've never really paid these much of attention. Honestly, it's not that big of a set, not that expensive of a set. But definitely was probably the origin of the variation cards. Because you can get the card number, but with a different back. And there's a Santiago. And I don't know what these cards are called. You guys know, drop me a comment. I'm not sure. But the Santiago. Another Nolan Ryan. Let's see if there's any Ripken superstars. Eckersley. First time getting it. There's a Craig Biggio. This will be a second year Biggio. Three more. I think I'll just take you guys through this first box, let you see them, and after that, I'll open the rest of them off camera because it's really. You know, pretty basic. Once you've seen a few of these, you've seen them all. Canseco again. Eckersley again. Craig Jeffries. No Ripkins on the front. Looks like a Steinbach. Eddie Murray and Pedro Guerrero. All right, so three more, and then we'll let you guys get out of here and back to whatever it is you're doing nowadays, given our new normal that I hope changes very soon because honestly, it's getting a little little boring routine. I know I complain a lot about having to work even though I love my job. I do work a lot. And it was nice to have a little bit of time off, but I'm getting kind of lazy now, so. There's a Ripken. We'll take a look at the front of him in a minute. 
There's Jeff Ballard. That's who I was calling out earlier. So let's see if we can find, that's who I thought that was. Bly Levin, there's the Howard Johnson. Say Tettleton, maybe. Can say goes on the front. There's her Hershizer. I got another Sandberg for you to check, Greg. Uh, Craig. Jerome Walton's on the back. Sandberg. I'll set him off to the side and let me know. And there's the Ozzy Smith. All right, so there's going to be some more cards at the end of this, but the Ripken has. I got two variations of the Ripken so far. Looks like Devon White, maybe. Alvin Davis. Oh, I grabbed the wrong card. So I got the, I got these two variations of the Ripken. So that's a good start. We'll, we'll check it out and see how far we get, but Thanks for checking this out. Uh, let, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think uh, of these different kinds of sets here. I know the newer stuff is not really anything new on my channel. I open this up a lot, but um, as I build these sets, I just want to share this with you guys so you can kind of keep track of where I'm at. So everybody stay safe out there, and until next time, later.